Hey guys and welcome to this new Figma tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a video card so you can use it in your uh, streaming website projects. Alright, let's get started by creating a new frame of by 400 and 10 pixels border radius. Let's add a new drop shadow effect zoom in and let's start by creating a new frame for my main image and let's rename it picture also rename the card movie card here i have my content all the images and title of the movies gonna use so let me pick one image fill just to use as an example here and then let's go and create a new frame under my image this will be the content of my card and let's add here the title skyfall it will be 16 pixels and dark gray color let's duplicate this will be 13 pixels and a regular and maybe a lighter gray this will be the author name text gonna decrease the size let's duplicate again decrease the size to 11 or 10 pixels zoom out this will be our stats views and time all right now select the card and let's transform it to auto layout so here we have a dynamic card layout and one last thing, let's add our play button. So let's create a new rectangle. Let's move it outside. All right. Now let's click this absolute position and give it a white fill. And let's move it here on the right side. And let's give it a 50 pixels border radius and add a drop shadow effect. Let's decrease it's opacity to 7 and let's keep it like that now let me import my play icon let's pick the first one all right let's move it to the top here we go let's increase to 32 pixels let's center the top and let's give it a blue color all right and rename its frame to play now I think we're done with our basic card. Let's transform it to a component and then create a new variant. So first let's move our play button to the center of the frame. All right. And let's scale up its size to 1.7. Center again. And here we are going to create kind of filter with this content block so actually we have a auto layout let's remove the auto layout so we'll be free to play with our content so all right but let me first add a background color to my content in the default frame and also and let's sort of fill our card and let's change the fill of our content to a linear gradient and let's change it to black linear gradient and the picture let's fill the card and for my text content let's center vertical and move it here to the bottom and change its color to white all right now one last thing let's increase the title 24 pixels all right let's move this to the bottom and i think we are good now let's go to prototype and connect the two cards and let's go and say while hovering smart animate and gentle all right now let's give it a small test let's go to asset move our card here let's go here in the play and let's click preview for our quick test all right 
Yes. Let's remove this. Let's create, go to design tab and let's create a new frame section. Then let's add our card. Let's duplicate it two times and also duplicate this second time. Now let me add a background with a splash. I want to add a background image to get some contrast in my blog. So here, gradient. Let's pick this gradient. It's a little bit ugly. Let's pick a dark one. All right. Now I'm going to add my content. So here I have my content that I have already imported. So let me populate my cards. Just bring this content to my page. Remove this and let's select my frame and let's go here and click present to see the final result of our cards. Let's hit the screen. All right. And here are our card. We have some problem here with the center. Let's go back. Maybe need to center this. Yeah, it works great. All right, that was everything for today's tutorial. Thank you, and I see you in the next one.